Alrighty, so this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to do your CSS codes for Toy House. Um, this was originally for the people on my Discord server who wanted to figure it out and just couldn't do it. You People usually think that you need to pay for it, which is false. You don't need to. You don't need to get premium to use CSS. Um, there is a little bit of a trick behind it though, I'll be honest. So here is what you're going to do. I'm going to go through the character profiles first, how to do that. I'm going to show you my CSS. Uh, you don't need to use mine. There are plenty CSS codes out there. Uh, Avi code on Toy House, they have really good ones that you can use and you can Frankenstein them. Uh, shout out to them. They did a really good job. But here is what I have for my characters. Alrighty. So this one. Okay, my character profiles look like this. This one is unfinished. There's like a whole bunch of tabs you can click on to. Thank you again, Avi Code, for having all of this amazing code. Uh, but what you're gonna do, you're going to go to Control Panel down here. And when you get to Control Panel, go to Edit Profile. Uh, when you go to Edit Profile, you have all of the basics up here. But this right here, you need to Yours should probably say disable if you haven't touched it at all. Uh, you should, yeah, you should disable this when you click on it. And what it does, it brings up all of the code slots and everything. Uh, I just have a list where I copy pasted everything that I needed because I use the same CSS for all of my characters with little tweaks. Um, so what's in here is pretty much all of the blue text is going to be all of the words that you see. You can change the colors here. Um, make sure to keep it all organized because if you don't, you can get confused really quickly. Um, so yeah. That's what you do there. All of the blue text, stuff that's going to show up for text-wise. Uh, for inputting images, you can experiment with it. I use Discord. I probably shouldn't be using Discord to store all of my images. I should be using Imager or something like that. Um, yeah, it's better to do that than actual Discord, I'll be honest. But it doesn't... you won't be able to see anything unless you go onto another page for Toy House. Uh, so I recommend if you want to see what you're doing with all of this, just open up another tab to your Toy House character profile and reload it whenever you change something. It changes automatically when you put anything into the code. Um, so those are what the character codes look like. And when you're done with it, it's going to end up... It's going to end up looking something like this. So that's what all of the inputted code looks visually like. Um, it's got all of the links, it's got all, got all of anything you can think of. You can move all of these text boxes. Just experiment with it, play around with it, it's all good. Um, but that's for the characters. Now for stuff like this, for opening pages and everything like that, uh, this takes a little bit more... I'm gonna need to remember how to do this, honestly, because it has been a long time since I've touched the start of it. So, what you do for, like, opening profiles, just go to settings, and what you do, let's see here, interaction alert, profile content, okay, this is where you want to be. You want to be in profile content, it is the fourth one. No, it's fifth one down. Um, this is, you need to disable it again. Right now it's enabled. Uh, but this is what you want to do for your opening pages. Again, it's, it looks like the character profile code, but it's not. It ends up looking different. Um, and this has everything that you would need. Of course, if you're going to use this code, I can put a link for what it looks like, but it's going to end up looking like my Toy House profile. I definitely recommend just experimenting with yours and making it unique. So yeah, definitely just 
play around with it. The more you play around with it, take a few hours, I don't know. I did this all by Frankensteining Abby's code. Uh, again, thank you. Um, I'll put a link to their codes, and I'll put a link to what I have on, like, saved on a Google Doc, uh, when I post this. But yeah, that is pretty much how to figure out your toy has codes. You don't need to pay money, you don't need premium, uh, you just need to do a little bit exploring around the site. I know the site is a bit messy, but, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, that's about it.